How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Twitter. We are on episode 24. This episode, we go ahead and make it so that whenever we actually type inside of our input boxes, it moves that label up and down as well as changes the label color. That way, it matches the way Twitter works. So let's go ahead and hop into VS Code, and I'll show you guys how to do that. So hopping back into our VS Code, let's go ahead and hold this open, and we are going to go ahead and make a new one called Determine Validated Styles. So we're going to so export const determine validated styles. And this is going to equal, it's going to take in some states, which is a validated input state, which we'll have to import. It's also going to take in a validator, which is going to take in a value string. And this is going to return a Boolean. All right. So now this is going to return a string like so. And obviously this should probably be an arrow function. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, of course, we need to go ahead and just return some empty string probably for the time being. And now that's good. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to break apart our thing. So we're going to say let valid, let active, let typed in, let value, let label color let label active equal to our state that we passed in that way we can just have access to each one of those and we're gonna have to do a bunch of crazy stuff and then this should actually return not a string but it should return a validated input state instead cool so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is say first if we are typed in we are going to do some checks. So first thing we're going to do is say valid is equal to validator and then value. So we're going to see if the value is valid. So for some things, it might be valid if it's an email. For some things, it might be valid if it's just typed in. So for example, if we take a look at our Twitter, it's valid when we type in it, it's valid. But if we delete everything, it becomes invalid. So that's going to be what we're looking for. But other times we might need to say, oh, this is not a valid email address, things of that sort. So in here, we're going to check to make sure it's valid first. So then first we'll say if active and valid. So if it's active and valid, the label active is going to equal to true. And the label color is going to equal blue. So there's that. So next, if we are active and not valid, keep in mind, this is all also going to be under if we've been typed in already. So here we're going to say label active is equal to true and label color, label color is equal to error. All right, our next check is if uh, not active and valid. So if it's not active and it's valid, we'll say label color or label active is equal to false. Or actually, no, this one needs to be true. Um, and label color is gray. This is because it's going to have some text under it. So the label's technically still going to be active slash smaller. And maybe I should have called it instead of label active, label small, but it's fine. Finally, if not active and not valid, but it's been typed in, uh, label active will be false and label color will be gray. And this needs to be like so, not Gary, gray. So if we've already typed in it, this is what we're going to deal with. Otherwise, if it's not typed in, we're going to say if it's active, but we're not typed in, we'll go ahead and say label active is equal to true and label color is equal to blue and then otherwise 
what we're gonna say is label active is false and label color is equal to gray and then what we need to do is go ahead and set the state so say state is equal to dot 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 state and we're going to say valid we're going to say label active we're going to say label color all right and i'm not sure oh i forgot a dot there we go and then finally we're going to return that state so this is going to be how we determine what our style is going to look like inside of the thing so Whenever we type in here, this is going to make things smaller, bigger, so on and so forth. Now we still need to go ahead and use this in the use effect. And we also need to go ahead and set up a validator method for our um, username or first name and last name. So let's go ahead and hop back into our validated input. And we are going to go ahead and create a use effect. So I typically put them here, use effect and do one of these. So inside of our use effect, First, I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these guys and I'm gonna put in a whole bunch of things here. So whenever we see validated state dot active change, whenever we see validated state dot typed in change, whenever we see validated state dot value change, whenever we see validated state dot label active change, and whenever we see validated state dot label color change, if we just put the validated state in there, it causes a infinite loop and that's not great. We also need to go ahead and import the validated state or determine validated state styles. And now inside of our use effect, anytime something changes, we'll say set validated state to determine validated state styles with our validated states in our validator so remember we're gonna have to pass this validator through the actual user inputs inside of the other class that we have or the other function we have so right now it's probably broken actually it's not and it's kind of working as is the only thing is we don't actually have a real validator so if we type in here it works but if we untype it's probably not going to work as you see um, so we need to fix that, but it's off to a good start so far. Um, so now what we need to go ahead and do is create our valid, uh, validator function. So I'm going to go ahead and go into our services package. So let me go ahead and open this up. Let's go into our services and I'm going to make a new file and I'm going to go ahead and call this validators dot TS. And then inside of our validators.ts, I'm just going to say export const validate name equal to, and we're going to pass in a value of string. And this is going to just be a Boolean uh, and we're going to export it like so. And then we're just going to say return not equal or value not equal to empty string. So if it's an empty string, it's not going to be valid. If it is an empty string, it will be valid. So now I got to remember where our user input is. So maybe it's inside of, is it text input? It's not text input. Give me a second. It's actually been a couple minutes since I've, there we go. So there's our validator. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to import, get rid of this and we'll say import. Um, and this is going to be called validate name. from our services. And now inside of our validator, we'll go ahead and say validate name. And then inside this validator, we'll say validate name. Now keep in mind that we want a different validator for email. So we'll have to go ahead and write that a little bit later. And honestly, it probably won't be that hard to write it. So now it should pass the validator to our validated input. And then whenever we call uh, this, it'll get passed and set the state and everything. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. So we're in here, we type, we see this, if we delete, it should turn red and it's red. We type, it's good again, same thing here. We delete, it's red, it's red. So this is acts just about like Twitter. Get rid of this and we delete this. 
that's good that was a loud bang and it also says what's your name obviously we need to go ahead and make sure that goes away i'm not sure why uh it's not getting set and this is a little bit cut off so we might want to tweak that a little bit Although it looks like, yeah. So maybe we want to make the text a little bit smaller and a couple other things. So let's see if we can find the CSS. So styled input and inside of our layer, let's see, do we have a valid input CSS. There we go. So inside of our input value, let's make the font size, maybe like 22 and save and take a look at what that looks like. So and make a G. All right, cool. That fixed that. And now we need to fix it so that what's your name doesn't show up every single time. Um, it looks like it's just popping up regardless. So again, come back into our validated input. And this is most likely going to be in register form one. Or actually, let's try validated input, I suppose. So we have our error message. So here we'll say probably want to wrap this span inside of one of these like so and we'll say valid question mark if it's valid and this needs to be validated state yeah validated state dot valid question mark otherwise just return an empty um, span there and that should be easy enough so now if we refresh Let's do this backwards the other way. So if it's valid, we want this. Otherwise, display the message. Now refresh. Now, of course, we need to fix this up. But if we delete this, it says, what's your name? We type again, it's all good. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Next episode, we'll come back through, do a little bit more styling, get some buttons going, maybe even set up Redux. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you all for watching. Peace out. This has been Unknown Coder. I'll see you guys in the next episode.